What's up guys, my name's Casper, and I'm currently in this little town called Wodonga painting a bunch of murals and this is the next one. sketching this thing up. It's gonna be hard to see in the footage, obviously. It's like bright yellow. You have the flower flowing like this. It goes up and then into the tunnel. It goes down and then up, down and up. It's got like a nice like compositional flow to it. And all the way at the back here. a bit of water into this paint just here just to thin it out so I'm gonna fade directly from white up to blue but I find that just like a really punchy uh, brighter color it's gonna look like a cool little sunset gradient in the background pretty keen to get into it mix this paint up fill this gun up and yeah we'll get rolling twist this thing on I think this should come out like this boom you got it. So you use guns like this exactly how you use spray cans. Like to create these gradients and types of fades uh, within like large scale works, it's really hard with a brush and it takes ages. So if you get one of these or if you get a spray can, basically the whole trick of it is you have to angle in the direction you want the fade to go. So I want it to go wide at the bottom and then blue at the top. And the closer I am at the bottom, the closer I'm gonna to be to the wall and I'm gonna work my way out. Wish me luck. here on day two pretty happy with how today went a lot of progress done the background and the yellow is sort of a really good start what's up guys I'm um, back here on day three and I should get quite a lot of work done today. It's time to do all like the fun stuff, the coloring and figure out the gradients and what I want to put where. But next up comes the red. I've got a little head start on it. I didn't start filming yet because it was dark first thing in the morning. But um, you can see the love heart shapes coming in here. One just there. I'm about to hit another big one a bit further down in the, uh, the underpass.
pretty classic. It's probably uh, picking it up on the audio right now. Uh, it is so windy today. It's pretty brutal. I was supposed to be doing all like my fades and everything, but being in this little underpass, you find all the winds just sort of flowing its way through and just smashing through here. I'm trying to like fade these colors up and it's just flicking up in my eyes and everything. So I'm trying to take my time with it <laughs> and actually make it work. It's pretty brutal, but uh, I mean, I'm just gonna roll with it and uh, hopefully it turns out all right. to Bunnings, like a local hardware shop, and pick up a few buckets of paint instead because it takes too long to order those sprays in. So go get some buckets, get some brushes, re-up on a bunch of colors and everything and come back here. Up for the day. Quite a lot of color work down today. I was a bit ambitious thinking I might finish uh, it all up today, <laughs> but yeah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, I had to change a lot of the colors for bucket paint, which takes a lot longer to fill. Uh, but I mean, I'm pretty stoked with the composition. Maybe two more days after this, and it'll be all wrapped up. I'm just, I'm hyped to get back here tomorrow. Just keen to jump onto it. It's been a really fun piece. This is basically what it looks like. And if you like my art and my videos, just remember to subscribe. Um, been looking to build this YouTube channel for a while now and Finally, I've really been putting time and effort into these into these videos and trying to make something pretty cool. So yeah, like and subscribe. Leave any comments in the comment box below, whatever you want to see, whatever you want to learn, or even if you just enjoyed the video. I think I'll do a little bit less filming today because I just want to really concentrate on getting these colors down. The rain's coming pretty soon and I'll be going to paint a water tower next month. It's looking pretty close to the end of the month and um, I definitely gotta get this thing done before I cruise, so just gonna get stuck into it, put a podcast on in the background, listen to some music or something, and just uh, one color at a time. Pretty nice, chocolatey brown. I'm gonna get stuck into it, and I'll probably see you when the mural's a little bit more finished. What's up guys, it's been about four hours, five hours painting in all these colors. I'll show you a little walkthrough. Positionally, I tried to mix it up a little bit so it's not purely one flowing shape that's the hard thing with this is I wanted to create a subject down the bottom and the background up top but when going like that it could look really blocky so these little flower type shapes here just like break that up see 
On this side, you actually have a break in the design. This is measured out to actually be the center of the underpass. And when you take it to the other side, you have the same circle in the middle, which draws a comparison to the other side, but the flow obviously doesn't have that break. We're uh, jumping into those fades. I'll probably film some of that stuff because it's pretty fun and start up on this wall just here. And yeah, this is when things actually start to shape up. back here again first thing in the morning it's saturday here uh, on the weekend so it's nice and dead nobody's around i'm just chucking the fades on these yellow sections here i ran out of that paint yesterday so brought some more in and then get that black can and just outline the whole thing it's either too strong or too light or i don't know there might be a little revisions here and there but we'll see i think that'll be the funnest footage of this whole clip it usually is once that outline goes on and it starts to come to life okay i'm gonna get into it I'm all done here with the first line work. You can see it. I want to put like a black heart here on the inside, but in places like these flowers, I actually use this technique with a spray can where you hold the cap like sort of halfway down lightly and it just splatters. And that's what I'm going to do through here, like splattering effect. That's what's going to make this look like textured and almost like electric. So one more down this and I'll definitely be all wrapped up. So from here, uh, I actually go paint a skate park. It's literally just down the road. I'm in a little place called Baron Duda in Wodonga. And here I've painted three murals that are like super close to each other. So there's a community center up here. I'll chuck the video up in the top right if you want to watch that one. I got this underpass. And then as you walk through, you come out to the skate park. And it's cool because when I knock off, I can actually go skate. So pretty keen for that. Stay tuned and I'll come back after the weekend with all these fun final lines. For this part of the piece, I actually did a bit of design reviews. So I took a photo of the wall once it was done and I took it into Procreate. And this is basically what I came up with. So I, I did this just so if, if I was to just paint those lines in directly, there's sort of no taking it back or it just takes a long time to cover up those areas if you make mistakes. So I took it into Procreate and just uh, created an another layer over the top, just so I could play with it, take away, add on. And this is sort of what I came up with, right? So black in bigger sections like this, smaller sections with the line work and everything, bit of blank space. And um, just compositionally, I've created all of these. So these are all the little lines and stuff I'm gonna be adding in, you know, these little areas. And um, 
Just gives it a bit of depth, gives it a bit more character. I think it definitely needs it, it's a little flat, so let's uh, make it a bit more poppy. place was so dirty before I came here so um, it's pretty awesome to put a lot of color down here it looks really sweet from the road so hopefully it invites some more people down here to to walk through and check it out but I'm gonna take you through it and uh, show you the piece Yeah. <laughs> 